Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. In South Carolina, a paralyzed man is walking again thanks to a new motorized exoskeleton. Brett Hannaford survived a plane crash in December 2012, but a spinal cord injury left him paralyzed from the waist down. Now, Hannaford is able to walk again with some help from a physical therapist, a pair of canes, and a device called Rewalk a motorized exoskeleton that Hannaford is among the first American patients to test. Rewalk was developed by Argo Medical Technologies in Haifa, Israel, and has been approved for clinical use here in the U.S. A personal version, designed for everyday use beyond the rehabilitation clinic, already available in Europe, is waiting for authorization from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Next up, last month, NASA completed testing of a new laser-based lunar communication system. NASA's Lunar Laser Communication Demonstration, or LLCD, mission establishes the viability of a laser-based communication system that will not only equal the radio-based system NASA already uses, but greatly improve on it, especially in the vital area of data transmission. Using the LLCD system, technicians here on Earth were able to download a gigabyte of data from the Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Explorer spacecraft in lunar orbit. Downloading that same amount of information using the traditional radio communication system would have taken several days. The LLCD also demonstrated its capability to send high-definition video back and forth from Earth to the Moon. So can we finally get going on these manned moon missions again, please? They'll have broadband when they get there and everything. Finally, have you ever read a story that was so good that it made you say, that story changed my life? Well, a study published last month in the journal Brain Connectivity suggests that reading stories may literally change our brains. The study, authored by scientists at Emory University's Center for Neuropolicy, found evidence that reading a novel causes real, lingering biological changes to our brains. Test subjects were assigned to read the novel Pompeii by Robert Harris over a nine-day period and were given fMRI scans not only during the nine-day reading period, but also for five days before and five days after they'd done the reading. The results showed that reading the novel caused heightened connectivity in areas of the brain associated with receptivity for language and physical sensation and movement. These changes persisted for the five days after the subjects completed the reading, and that from a randomly selected novel. The authors of the study speculate that our favorite stories, those that hold true personal importance for us, might result in even more significant and longer-lasting effects on our brains. A motorized exoskeleton allows a paralyzed man to walk again. NASA successfully tests a fast and reliable laser-based communication system. And a study shows that reading a good book can literally change you. That's the good news. What did you think of that?